Matter of fact, I can recall vividly that I was studying in my second floor room at Fletcher Hall at the University of Florida in 1941 uh, when a good friend of mine who later became a justice of the state Supreme Court, Ray Ehrlich, uh, came by and said, have you heard the news? I said, no, what news? He said, the Japanese have bombed Pearl Harbor. And I said, my goodness, this is the, this is the beginning. And he said, yes, I'm afraid we're in the war. Uh, of course, prior to then, there'd been all the buildup of world tension, as you know. And so it was no big surprise. Uh, but what it meant to me as an ROTC student, Reserve Officers Training Corps at the university, was that our, our efforts in ROTC were suddenly intensified because we could see that at the end of the tunnel we were become more involved, personally involved, in the war. And that happened uh, two years later when I graduated from the university in 1943. And after a short time of leave, I was ordered to report to Camp Blanding, Georgia, uh, for the officer's candidate school in the U.S. Infantry. I reported there, and uh, after 13 weeks of very arduous training, I was commissioned a second lieutenant in the United States Infantry and ordered to report to Camp Swift, Texas to the 102nd Infantry Division uh, for further training and preparation for combat. At the uh, Camp Swift location, I was ordered to report just not only to the 102nd Division, but to the 406th Infantry, the 1st Battalion, C Company, and to take over the 2nd Platoon as a second lieutenant in the the 102nd Division, and that began my career in the service. Uh, after Pearl Harbor, everything intensified because we knew that uh, we were headed for combat, and so it became a much more serious. There was a, a definite downturn in the normal college antics, as some people say, uh, sports took a back seat. Every other activity took a, a back seat to concentrating on what we had to do to get ready for combat. It was much less involved than the formal training at, at Fort Benning, of course, uh, but there was an intensification. It was a great deal of drilling, a great deal of uh, studying field manuals, becoming accustomed to uh, Army ways and Army instruction, focusing, of course, on the infantry, uh, which was my assignment at the time. And so I would say in summary, Ryan, that, uh, that uh, Pearl Harbor was a, like turning on a searchlight on ROTC and saying, okay, you guys better get ready. The interesting thing was, of course, that the total enrollment at the university in 1941 was about uh, less than 5,000 students, all male. So uh, things have changed a lot since then. Uh, but yes, there was a, an intense focus on the military side of training at the university.